All right, welcome to Hot Wheels Legends Tour in Dallas, Texas. We're here, Fiora 2's here, of course, and there's gonna be a plenty of cars here and fans as well. I can't wait to see it, you can't wait to see it. Welcome, let's get it on. Y'all drove 10 hours to be here with this Ford Galaxy. Yeah, we almost didn't make it. Almost didn't make it? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Is there anything like specifically you want to point out for us? Uh, well, it's a group build. Everybody threw her in the middle of the planet series. Yeah. Um, two days ago, this car did not have a top end. <laughs> so, oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, and right now, we just, that's why it was not going to make it. We thought it was not going to uh, squeeze the, put it in the time frame. But, yeah. So, it's here now. It's barely made, made it. With it. Yeah, I made it with his, uh, with his own two wheels. He didn't have to put in a trailer or anything. Wow. No, that's awesome. And I gotta see your shirts. Like, look at all these guys' shirts. Like, these are awesome. They, they made these. These are sweet. Uh, so actually, just give us each of your names so that, you know, the, the viewers know. James Harper, but everyone just calls me Whittle. Hey, basically Spanish for white guy. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Reese. Chopin. And then, then it was, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I love how y'all did the, the T-Hunt logo on there. Is that just a, a decal that y'all made yeah, as well? Yeah, we made a decal. That's awesome, yeah. Well, thanks again. This is this is amazing. This is an awesome car. Uh, good luck to y'all. And uh, hope to see y'all later. <laughs> I still can't believe I saw you on YouTube and I'm seeing you in real life. Oh, hey, there you go. <laughs> That's fine. And uh, before I go, I can give you a sticker if you want. Oh, yeah. I've, got, I've got a couple stickers. I can give everyone a sticker. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah awesome. but I saw you were coming out. Yeah? You already got your pictures of the Diora again? Oh, of course. Yeah, we already did an intro by it and everything. I mean, I've just been yeah. hanging around. I'm trying to get some uh, interviews with people about their cars. Hey, is this your car? Yeah, this is this my car. This is your car. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. What is on the, the headlight there? Oh, it's a little hyena. Okay. Yeah, the car's name is Bagel, but it's like got hyena themed stuff. We got like a uh, custom embroidered, like the, the leather bit on the boot and stuff like that. It's okay. like Bagel bites on the door sill. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, so these are done by your phone? Yeah. That's cool. Bluetooth module that sits right here. Yeah, you have piggybacks on them and you can control the whole thing on your phone. Where'd you get that from? Is that from like flying yacht or something? No, it's from the UK. MX510. Yeah, MX510. That's cool. That's cool though. That's fun. But the plan, I'm going to turbo it until this engine blows up and then I'm going to LS swap it. <laughs> so, That's great. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for showing us your car. For sure, uh, man. Uh, if you ever want anything, actually, I do have uh, I do have some stuff. But first, uh, yeah, just thank you again and uh, good luck out here. Yeah, for sure, man. You take it easy too. It's starting to heat up. Yeah, I know. Great looking though. Thanks for showing off your car. Yeah, and this uh, is the dealer right here. Britain Chevrolet. Britain Chevrolet. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Martin. Martin Ayers. Martin Ayers. And I'm JC Squared, and this is the Scorpion. Scorpion. Uh, number one. I don't know. What, what is the number one? Where do you start? It's just it's, crazy all over. You start drawing it, and it, it, don't, it's, it doesn't look anything like it came out. But it's, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the body's plywood. Fly, okay. Uh, it's covered in five layers of fiberglass, about 17 gallons of bondo. Wow. But that, most of that got sanded off. Okay. Uh, I built the frame and uh, the nose part is wood too. Okay. The motor's a 350 Chevy out of a 78 Camaro. Oh, wow. And uh, got an S10 rear end under. And it took about, say, about 10 years. Yes. I did the oh, paint. Good oh, flake on it. Yeah. Uh, raw flake. Yeah. Uh, Subline green. What it's called. Nice. Yeah. It's the chrome stuff. That's off the speedway. Now uh, buying a Wookie car. I know. How about it? You don't see many Al Bino Wookies. No. I guess um, he, he's the one that did that. <laughs> yeah. That's him all over the place. He's all over the place. Does it ever catch fire then? Like, no, not really. No? It's, it's, it's totally good. Yeah, it's, it's like they just a show for us. Just get the show. This is the first show we took. Really? Yeah, okay. We finished it about a month ago. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. How'd you find out about the event? Um, oh, yeah. Facebook or something like that? Yeah. I've tried that about two years ago. Uh, the guy built the car that looked like a jet. Oh, 210C? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And I thought, buddy, I'm going to go to gear. I'm going to try to dress it. You know, try to go somehow to see the TV, the camera. Yeah, I saw that. That's, that's your touch screen dash, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Black and white. Yep. yep. There you go. That's great. And, uh, so he's got the motor mount on his mount solid, so it's kind of rough. Oh, okay. Yeah. It took about 10 years. Here and there. Do you ever drag it or go to the drag strip with it? With no. The, the like I said, this is the very first time it's been out. Very first time? Wow. So this, this is the... What is it called? The inaugural. The inaugural. There you go. Yeah. Blessing of the car. Yeah, the blessing. There you go. And uh, last but not least, why the guitar? Where are these I saw one when I was a kid, and a guy took a real revolutionary story. Yeah, cut it off. Yeah, yeah, that kind of stuck. It kind of cut off about halfway and rolled it to a uh, B&M all right. Well, thank you so much for showing us around your car. All right. Uh, well, good, good luck to you. Thank you. And, uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Sean Cross, and tell us about your freaking big car. <laughs> so it's a '85 Grand Marquis. It's on the factory Grand Marquis chassis. Uh, it's got a 12 valve Cummins out of a school bus. Uh, Five-speed transmission, got a 205 transfer case, Super Duty one-ton front axle on a F550 Super Duty rear axle. Yeah. Uh, 
53 inch tire in the back and a 40 up front. What, what made you want to do this? <laughs> okay. Just because. Just because? Yeah. So it, I follow the Mad Max ever oh, since I was a kid. Okay. Yeah. And when Fury Road come out, I kind of wanted to build something a little crazy. Yeah. But not too crazy. I love these sedans. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted something that. I can wheel in comfort, and mm -hmm. it'll turn a few heads. So is it a, is it actually comfortable when driving, or is oh, yeah. it? Yeah. It wow. drives about like a Super Duty truck. Wow. Yeah. It's actually so, kind of surprising, but also. I wish cool. it would actually ride like the car did from the factory. But oh, that's gonna, okay. That's going to be kind of hard to accomplish when with these tires. Giant tires. <laughs> <tired. laughs> you know, I saw the Hot Wheels Legends Tour thing come around, uh -huh. and you know, I could just see a kid. Mm -hmm. Having this is his favorite Hot Wheel. Oh yeah, I've seen I've seen the, these types in the Hot Wheels line before. Right. There was one in the, the Hot Wheels Arc car line. I think rec just recently, giant tires, old sedan like that. It just, yeah. yeah. So I, uh, I think it'd be pretty cool. My of course my followers and stuff they think it'd be pretty awesome. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, where can people find you? Uh, Sean Cross the line on YouTube. Uh, that's my channel there, and then I have been on the Death Wish show uh, from Busted Knuckle Films. Okay. So, of course, the car is all over TikTok. Everybody makes TikTok videos yeah. of it. Yeah. They're <laughs> gotcha. usually driving down the road. Oh, okay, okay. So, everybody likes to take video pictures and stuff of driving down the road. Uh, I drive it everywhere. Mm -hmm. it's, it's got about 15,000 miles. Awesome. Well, thank you again, Sean, no and uh, good luck to you. Thank you. Is your name? I'm Justin. Uh, JC Squared is my handle. Josh, well, okay, I've, I've heard of you. Oh, really? Yep. I didn't know that. <laughs> How'd you um, hear yeah. about me? I'm, I'm uh, word of mouth. Word of mouth. Wow. Okay. Right. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm Joshua. And my little my little toy. That's awesome. Uh, really excited. When did you get the car? So I got the car. Uh, I got it uh, July two years ago. Oh wow. So the car is two years. Two years. So wow. I can show you a photo. The car was completely stock when I got it. Okay. There was a guy in Addison that had this one and this one. Uh -huh. And uh, this one belongs to my buddy Kim. And he got his a month after I got mine. And these cars are actually how he and I met. Oh, wow. So we are literally friends because of our cars. <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful. The, the car is a Honda Beat. Uh, it's, so you know, all cars have their number and letter designation. This one's PP1. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's awesome. If you type in Honda Beat on Google, you're going to get their motorcycle scooters. Really? You type in PP1, you'll get these. The grill. I'll, I'll have fun with this. The grill. I made the grill last night. <laughs> oh, wow. So you go to Home Depot, right? And they've got those those sheets of like designer sheet metal. Yeah. I took one home. I didn't have a grill, and it really bugged me I didn't have a grill. Because I'm, I'm sitting there going, man, I'm going to, I'm going to Hot Wheels car me. I, I don't like I don't have a grill. It's open. It's ugly. So I went and I found some of the designer sheet metal, took it home, laid it on there, drew it all out, gave it an inch and a quarter overlap all the way around, molded it, and then glued it in place, or painted it, we glued it in place, it was originally brass. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, I didn't know until this morning when I got, when I got the bumper back on it, <laughs> how it looked. All I know is it's not a hold anymore. Is it for the you? This one here? Uh, this is a guy from Japan. He's where I get all of my parts from. So you can't buy parts for this car here. Right? Cars only made in Japan, all the parts stay in Japan. But Robert is my guy in Japan and I could not I could not have built this car without his help. So uh, my way of paying homage to him is I got his uh, I got his logo imported into the seat. And it was the funniest thing. So him and his wife both moderate the website. She opened up the messages before he did, she saw that. I got a message from him later uh, talking about his wife is crying, how I made his wife cry. I'm like, what did I do? I'm freaking out because Japanese culture is very respectful. And I'm like, what did I do? What did I do wrong? I'm going back through looking at all the messages and I'm like, man, what did I do? I can't see that I did anything wrong. And he goes, uh, he's talking about the, the embroidery and he's like, he's like, man, this is this is great. Uh, he said he was just really, really happy and humbled that, that uh, someone thought enough of him to do that. But this is my why not car. Uh, Wide body kit, why not? Um, hood mounted mirrors, why not? It's, you gotta have that car that you can look at, be mad at, kick at, walk away from, come back five minutes later and get right back at it. That's at, what is that, Joshua T. Joshua.pc1. Joshua.c.pc1. Our, 
Uh, yeah, I guess that's a wrap. <laughs> I don't know what else to say after that. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm JC Squared, of course, and I'm here with Danny Humphreys. Danny Humphreys. I gotta ask, 928, what made you want to put this giant engine in it? Risky business. I uh, always loved him since the movie Risky Business, but okay. I'm a hot rodder, so took the best of both worlds. And All right. Together. Nice. Is there any reason for the coloring or anything? I uh, just like the color, nothing specific. I just find, saw a Viper on the street one day and I was like, that's Favorite it. Car right that's there. the winner. Yeah, that's beautiful. So I've had the car for 22 years. Uh, it's wow. kind of developed over the, the progressive disease. What's so. up, man? <laughs> Is there, uh, do you ever race it or drag it? I do. Anything? Yeah, actually, I've uh, raced it up in Oklahoma last week. And uh, first time out with the new combination. Uh, only got down the quarter mile because I was going small increments, eight okay. miles, but quarter of uh, first quarter mile pass was 738 at 184. So still got quite a bit left in it. Wow, that's awesome. Is there anything you want to point out specifically for the viewers? Uh, well, the you know the most obvious is the thing hanging out of the hood, which to me it's not a hot rod if you don't have something sticking out of the hood. Yeah, that's, so that's some shiny metal. Yeah, I might have got a little carried away. But I couldn't find a bigger blower, so I stuck with that. One. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for your time. And, uh, uh, is there anywhere people can find you? Uh, yeah, I'm on Facebook. Uh, it's the, the Blue Shark, but it's Der Blau High, which is German for Blue Shark. So, okay. that's it. All right. Well, thank you very much again, yeah. and uh, good luck to you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. P6. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Yeah. 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 There was this old Hot Wheels movie that has a 55 Nomad in it, and it's one of my favorites. So that's why I just like had to be drawn to it. Yeah, this is like the premium of uh, top of it. They made 8500, basically around 8500, 55, 56, 57. They made about 65. Okay. And so they knew that they were fixing the base down. And then 58. So five, six, and seven are the only ones that have this pillar on it and this rope line up here. Yeah. You see the, uh, uh, the grooves. Uh, yeah, yeah. The ribs in it. Mm -hmm. And on the tailgate, there's seven ribs there. Yeah. And uh, they also started out with the Pontiac and to make where GM ran cars, they made the Nomad for the Chevrolet. The Pontiac was the one that actually got it started. And that's what I was saw on the show. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but the Pontiac Safari in five, six, and seven share everything from here up. Really? Same doors, same windows, huh. same tailgate, lift gate, uh -huh. and everything else is different. Wow. They share a uh, different frame, they're, they're longer, and uh, quite a bit different in some of the two cars. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not totally at my age game, but the way I like it, but I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. So yeah. it's it's really beautiful. So thank you for you sharing about your car. All right. uh, what was your name? John Rogers. John Rogers. I'm Justin. Nice to meet you, Justin. Thank you. Y'all have a great time out here. You too. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that was a uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he, he said that over to me, and I was like, but I'm not in Arizona where he's going to be. I didn't know you were going to be here. I only learned Monday myself, so okay. the last minute uh, switch of plans. So. Okay. Yeah, because I talked to Ryan. Ryan was like, yeah, I was going to be there. I can't be there. So now I'm here. Again, not an easy, uh, not an easy choice here. It's crazy out here. That's for sure. I would walk Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It turned into a truck. I was crazy. Headed. Granddaughter in the back. Yeah, they have a lot of cars. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff. Big 
semi. I am, yeah. I'm one of the judges. We're supposed to be announcing here, too. There's two different 3,000 horsepower cars in this parking lot. Which one? Because there's a couple crazy ones. Uh, the blue one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this giant one. Right. This is so funny. I love this. I grew up watching the Hot Wheels movies. Oh, seriously? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's why I've seen the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like blown away that you guys had actually real car. All right. I'm glad to meet a fellow fan. I know. And you're a judge over here. So yeah, I know. Yeah, you're a judge today. Yeah, What's in it? Uh, North Star. Can I like North Star? Oh, yeah. What's his uh, Supercharged time? Dark? What's his Supercharged time? I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. It looks like a magazine or a whip. I'm not sure which one's on there. That's a joke. Can I drive that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's something can be arranged, but not right now. Is yeah. anyone going to want to do it? Yeah, I know. I know. Trust me, I, I know. I was, I was lucky enough to get in. But uh, uh, I had a few different people drive it over the time. Where are you based? Based in California? Our, yeah, our headquarters is in El Segundo. So when you're in LA or something, when we're not doing the legends, because these cars are on tour, so they're yeah. literally being shipped around all over. When we have them back in there. Oh, dude, it's so sick. It's just so cool. I love that you guys bring out your own set cars. You know, just make it. Yeah, and put our money where our mouth is. Yeah. What year was the money? That was 2015. Two years back. Yeah, that was done first. And then we followed up to the high school. Okay, yeah, that's right. I'm laughing, I think. So, my friend died. His two sons, one of them is actually my photographer and one of my closest friends for all my racing stuff. So, I was supposed to take out a couple of out in a rally. They had a giveaway and whoever's car was won the Hot Wheels award, he had to make it to the Hot Wheels. That was the car that won. We were supposed to take it here, but he got sick. So, it's actually his uh, father in law's car. Yes, it's a couple of thousand dollars in car. It's orange, sick. Would have been a bit better than the dad car, but. <laughs> I can't help being sick, man. I thought you stay home. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Santino. Yeah, you're Justin. Justin. That's JC Square. Yeah, but you can. Right on. Try oh, it, man. There's a lot of that. Yeah, I tried to. There you go. Thank you. I'll make sure you can use it. I drove out here. Uh, yeah, good. Worth it. I got to meet you. See you again. And there you are. Early this morning, or did you come in yesterday or something? No, I came in this morning. I drove at 2 a.m. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were here. Uh, my, my photographer here, he's awesome. Thank you, man. He drove out with me. Thank you, so, uh, better than five and a good lunch. No, 100%. Yeah, I'm 30 minutes. So we're just chilling. I can be out here. Yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah, right. Coming yeah. out. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Coming out. It's all good. Today. Yeah. Really? I hope everyone had a great time today. Come on, people. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Cool. This has been a killer show. Love it. We want to thank everyone here for coming today, bringing your rides, bringing your families, having a great time. Hopefully, you got some cool Hot Wheels. Hopefully, you had fun today at the show. I do want to give a quick thanks and shout out to Walmart, Dickies, making us, well, sweat out here in the hot Texas sun, but uh, no, these are great, great clothes, and as, of course, Mobile One, too, so thank you all for making this possible. I'm going to quick introduce myself, a few of the other, all the other judges today, and then we will announce the winner, so without further ado, I am Brendan Viteski, I'm one of the Hot Wheels designers, uh, came in for Mattel yesterday, I'll go home right after this event. And I work on uh, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks diecast as well as the Redline Club, the Adult Collector diecast. What's up, guys? I'm Santino Frucci, a professional indie car racer. So uh, can't thank Hot Wheels enough for having us out here and judging all these beautiful cars. I'm Dave Nelson. I uh, support Hot Wheels from Mattel. Hi, I'm Ryan Bray, uh, product planning and strategy for Toyota headquarters. So I'm here up in the uh, trucks team. Thanks for having me. Woo!
I'm Alice Chase. I am an automotive journalist and um, global social media for Canon Off-Road. Hi guys, I'm Luna Tran and we have Joe Tech Motorsports and I brought my Hello Kitty car, 1500 horsepower. <laughs> All right, the big moment. And just so you know, this is not easy. It's not easy at the first show of the year when there are no finalists already selected. It is 10 times harder at the getting us close to the end of the year here when we have other finalists to consider. And there's so many cool vehicles out here, cars, trucks, three-wheel vehicles, you name it. I mean, it is not easy to pick a winner. And even if your car isn't selected today, it does not mean it's not Hot Wheels worthy, just the opposite. We would pick 95% of the cars in this parking lot if we could. Unfortunately, our job is to pick one finalist today. And, you know, we have to consider the creativity, the authenticity, the garage spirit, all the things there. There also as well as what's going to make a cool Hot Wheels when you shrink it down to 164 scale. What is going to make you grab that car out of the Walmart bin inside versus a stock looking something that's you know, been around already that we've, we've seen. So without further ado, um, hopefully you agree with us, but we were blown away. I mean, the shock factor, you know, you shrink this thing down to 164 scale, it's going to look like a Hot Wheels. It's going to look like a Hot Wheels the way it is from a mile away, but it is that crazy blue Porsche 928, the blue shark, Danny Humphreys. Come on down, man. Congratulations. So we have a, a trophy for you, but uh, tell us about your car. All right, uh, it's a 78 Porsche 928. Uh, grew up watching Risky Business, stuck in my head. Re Rebecca DeMornay stuck there too, but I'm still working on that. I haven't given up on that one yet. Um, so I, but I'm a hot rodder, so you gotta have, on a hot rod, you gotta have stuff sticking out of the hood. And so I found the biggest blower, the biggest injector head I could find. Um, I built the car myself, I've owned it for 22 years, and it's, my wife calls it the mistress, so. Very good, congratulations. So we've got this for you, stick around. And again, thank you everybody for coming. Hope you had a great time today. Hope you got some cool Hot Wheels, had some fun, and enter again and maybe you'll be picked up here next time. So, see you soon. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. This was an amazing event. As you can see, the winner is right behind me. This amazing Porsche. Just absolutely insane amount of horsepower. I just can't wait to see it in, in the next event. So, please like, subscribe. Yeah. comment okay. whatever you can do to help this channel because we're trying hard uh my, my buddy here max he's been really fighting through so appreciate y'all and have a great day peace out